Let's turn now to Bayelso State, where former President Goodluck Jonathan has finally broken the silence since the attack on a security post close to his country home in Otoke, Ogbea Council area of the state. Playing host to members of the Joy Youth Council at his office in Yenagoa, Dr. Jonathan called on members of the Pani Joy Youth Body to promote peace for viable economic environment that will create jobs in the country. There is more in the support. Nigeria's former president speaks out for the first time since the fatal shooting at a gunboat stationed close to his country home in Otueke. Ordinarily, the officer allow us to rest. There is no reason to come and attack the former president. It is on the occasion of a visit by members of the Ijo Youth Council who have again condemned the attack that claimed the life of a soldier with another injured on the 24th of December. That the peace we enjoy in Nigeria today is a, as a result of a decision it took some years back. Perhaps that is the same reason why we still have a country called Nigeria. Otherwise, Nigeria would have been history. Regarding the incident of that 24th, it's quite unfortunate. I never expected that people would come and attack me. Then sometimes people create confusion as if uh, uh, boys attacked a military post. Just, that, that is not just a military post. They are my personal guys. So nobody could say somebody's interested in the gun. No, their motive was beyond carrying gun. I don't, I, I don't buy that idea at all. Good luck, Jonathan believes the assailants are not strangers. We know ourselves. So when people prefer to attack you from the creeks, so you know the majority of those people, you know where they come from. But I think they should be discouraged. Why must they go and kill an innocent young person who is there to protect somebody, a former president? Dr. Jonathan urged the Pan Ijo Youth Body to continue in its peace building initiatives to create an enabling environment for economic growth. You can't attempt or you can't afford to attack a leader of Ijo Nation, a leader of Niger Delta, and a former president of this country. We are talking about development in the Niger Delta. We are talking about development in Nigeria. There can be no development where there is no peace. How can you afford to attack a former president of this country? What are your grouses? Today, it's good luck, a village, Jonathan. We want to see these people brought to book. We want to ask these people, what has good luck, a village, Jonathan, done to them? He doesn't deserve this. This is a time where we call investors into this region, and then some bad eggs keep running the region aground. Ovietime George. TVC News, Yenagoa.